Today I want to look at just a couple of verses, just verses 28 and 29 in Genesis chapter 27 for our mini message. As we continue, as we continue the no nice people week for our mini messages. Verse 28, this is the actual blessing that Jacob, or excuse me, that Isaac gives to Jacob. Jacob will do some blessing later on in his life too, but this is what he says. He says, from the dew of heaven and the richness of the earth, may God always give you abundant harvest of grain and bountiful new wine. So this part of the blessing was personal prosperity. So he's asking God to bless Jacob with personal prosperity, that he basically would have everything he needs, that he would bluntly be wealthy. I mean, that's just what God's got, what um, Isaac is asking for here, that he would be prosperous. Verse, um, in verse 29, it says, May many nations become your servants, and may they bow down to you. May you be the master over your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. So he would be a man of preeminence within his family and within the people around him. May many nations be your servants. I tell you, they actually come true. The, the Jewish people under the leadership of David and Solomon would subdue, starting with Joshua, but moving on through David and Solomon, they would subdue the nations contained in the Promised Land and even nations right outside the Promised Land that kind of encircled and were around them. They, they beat them in war and caused them to be their servants. They took their cities. That's how it worked. That's how God gave them the promised land. But also, may you be the master over your brothers. So he's here saying, Isaac is thinking, Esau will be over Jacob. But that is not what God had said. God had said from before their birth, Jacob would be over Esau that the younger would serve the older because they were twins, but Esau was born first, so he was the older twin. So all of these blessings and the birthright should have all been going to Esau from a cultural point of view. But God didn't care about the culture. God chose Jacob because he knew who Jacob was, he knew who Esau was, and he made a choice. And God in his sovereignty had the right to decide who this promise would go down through. Now the interesting thing is here is God does use this deception to bring the promise on to the right son. Doesn't mean God was the author of this, doesn't mean God wanted them to do it this way, and it doesn't mean that if they had chose something different that God would not have still seen Jacob be the son of promise. He would have. They sinned, and God simply used their own sin that they chose to bring about His purposes. God will do that. God will use sin to bring about His purposes. He'd prefer it to go another route, but He uses even our failings for His glory. You guys be good. Stay safe, stay out there, and have a great day, and we'll see you again.